Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I wanted to do a quick video on how to move logs, bigger logs, uh, with a pickup truck. Uh, that's all I have. I don't have a tractor or anything like that, so I was trying to figure out what's the best way to actually move bigger logs without the use of a tractor. Now, eventually I may have to have, for some of my bigger logs that are down over the side hill, I may have to get a piece of equipment to move them. But for everything that I can, uh, whatever piece of wood that I'm hauling, uh, I'm going to try to do it with my pickup truck. And so I want to show you kind of the setup that I just used as I'm getting ready to do some sawing. And so I'm going to sw switch around here and let you have a look at what I'm doing. Uh, this is the use of mechanical advantage and pulleys. And so let's have a look at this here. You can see over there my pickup truck. Um, I've got the hitch on the back. And if you're wondering, you know, what's the best type of, of hitch to use as far as hooking up for doing this type of work, I just went to Harbor Freight and got a cheap uh, D-ring here. You can see it. And all it does is just screw screw on. I can take it off, and this way I can actually hook my, my uh, cable right to it. I, I'm not using the ball. I'm just, like I said, this is just screwed on. And then I have about 50 feet of half inch cable. Now I have some 3 8 or, or quarter inch sorry, cable as well for doing some of this. But some of the issue was, I'm sure you were seeing in my other videos, was this big pile of logs right here. Now most of those I can move around with the PV and by hand. But some of these bigger ones, as you can see here, there was three right here. Uh, they were actually over here in this area. And I needed to move them that way about 10 feet to get them ready to go up onto the sawmill dock. And so how did I do that? Uh, I'm not going to rustle them with a PV or anything like that. So what I did is I ran two lengths of cable. There's the second length coming right there. There's where I joined. Second length of cable right along here. And I went over and I, there was a tree right behind me here. Anything that you can anchor to. And I put a snatch block down here. Now, this particular snatch block, uh, you can get at Harbor Freight. They're about $30, $40. Uh, and another D-ring. And so my, I run my cable through that, back over to the end of the log, hooked on, and ran it back through here, as you can see. And I tied this around the tree, just anchored it to the tree. And then when I ran it all the way back over to the truck, as I just backed the truck up, whatever the length, 8, 10 feet, hooked on, and then when I went that direction, it pulled this log this way. And so I don't have a lot of weight in that pickup truck, just my cap is on it, that's about it. But I mean, I did a little bit of spinning there, you can see, but for the most part, I had no problem moving these logs just pulling them over and now they're ready to roll up onto the sawmill and so if you're dealing with you know heavier logs and stuff and you don't have a piece of equipment if you have access to a half ton or a pickup truck that's just a quarter ton there uh, then you can do something like this with some snatch blocks and of course as you increase the snatch blocks you're going to increase your mechanical advantage that's just one hopefully this will help you when I first started uh, trying to figure out how I was going to move logs around. I did some internet searching and I only found one video where someone was using a pickup truck and a, uh, a series of snatch blocks and pulleys. And I figured, well, if they can do it, so can I. And sure enough, up to this point, I've been able to move. That's a pretty heavy log right there. That is, that's about 20 some odd inches across the base and that's a hardwood log. That's a maple, as you can see there. Uh, that's a pretty good size log. And probably most of my pine trees won't be that big. I mean, there are going to be a few that are going to be fairly heavy. But for the most part, that's about the biggest log I'm probably going to be moving around. Uh, and my little pickup truck, even on this wet ground, uh, can do it. So if this helps you, great. Uh, if not, uh, you can always get a piece of equipment. But if, if you're trying to save money, like I am, as the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman, uh, I'm going to try to do things as cheaply as possible, but yet as effectively as possible. And this works just fine. It takes a little bit more time, obviously, but uh, in the case of putting time equity into your home, uh, into your property, this is the way to do it. So you don't have to rent equipment. So until next time, I will see you later from the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman.